Hello and welcome to a new video about measurements. Last time we talked about measurement errors. Yeah. So we do now know we make an error. If it's not a systematic error, it's a random error and we have to deal with it. And of course the measurement system has influence on this uh, random error. How accurate a measurement system is. This is why manufacturers of measurement systems usually give some sort of class, okay? It's an accuracy class, Genauigkeitsklasse in German. This accuracy class is nothing more, nothing less, than the relative error for the full-scale value. So, this is the accuracy class, okay? So, I've prepared here already something we will discuss this later, yeah? we will discuss this later, uh, because I want to show you how the measurement, how the accuracy class and the, the real accuracy is fitting together. Okay? So the accuracy class is, is the uh, relative error. to the full scale value. Also bezogen auf den Messbereichs Endwert, it would be in German. Yeah? The relative. So if we do have, uh, I don't know, an, a, a class instrument, this is the German abbreviation, Genauigkeitsklasse. It's sometimes labeled like that, or sometimes it's just written class, in German or English class. So if we have, for instance, uh, I know 2.5, uh, then this would mean we make an error of 2.5% compared to the full scale value. Okay? This is very bad. Uh, so this is, these are for minor roles. Subordinate. Row. Two to five. Bah. This cheap measurement device. Bad. Yeah. Then, so typical, typical panel instruments, yeah, they have between uh, one dot five and one. Uh, typical panel instrument. So if you have some your operator panel and there is instruments inside, yeah, then they are usually class 1, 1 1.5, something like this. So 1% of the full scale value error. 1.5% of the full scale value error. error yeah? If you have at home, I know, you know there is some settlement, yeah, settlement reasons. Billing. They are in a in a way zero dot five to zero dot three. Okay, this is the typical class of these. Yeah, so half percent error maximum. This is for settlement reason. Yeah? And calibration standards. They are at 0 0.01. Huh? These are typical class values. Right? So, actually, what we have from a measurement device is the error compared to the full scale value. Right? So, let's make an example that we can see how this, this fits together. Yeah? So, we have example. Pressure measurement. Yeah. Full scale value. Ten bars. Huh? This is the maximum 
scale value, the full scale value of our pressure measurement. Yeah? And we have a class 1. Yeah? This means we have 1% of 10 bars error. This means the absolute, ver uh, the absolute error yeah, is 1% uh, of 0 0.1 bar. Absolute error. Uh, 10 divided by 100 is 0 0.1. 1%, uh, 1 divided by 100. 0 0.1 bar. Uh, this is the error we can expect. So, what is now the error we can expect compared to the measured value? Alright, so now we know this, this measurement device with these parameters, would we would expect this error, uh, this absolute error. Now let's see how many percent we have at 0 0.5 bar. Uh, so at 0 0.5 bar, I make 0 0.1 bar error yeah, and divide it by 0 0.5 bar, yeah, multiplied, multiplied by 100 to get it in percent, yeah, equals 20%. Yeah. So here at 0 0.5 bar, we make an error of 20%. Okay, how much do we do at 1 bar? Ten percent. Oh yeah. At one dot five bar, six dot six percent. Here. At two bars, five. Uh -huh. At two dot five, four. At three, three to three. Okay, and now I calculate already at four, two dot five, and at five, two. Oh, here we are constant, but here this looks interesting. Here we'll calculate a little bit more. So I will ca calculate 125. Yeah, so here, what have we got? 40. Woo! Okay. And at 0 0.75, 13 to 3. So here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Now we see how this starts to look like. And here we are flattening out. This is somehow how the real error I am experiencing yeah, with my measurement device looks like. Yeah. There we see at low levels. It is tremendous, there's a tremendous big error. I mean, at one bar, 10%, 10% error. Who can live with that? Yeah. So, this means, yeah, if we do a measurement, right, and uh, we are expecting a certain range of this measurement, yeah, it's, it's, it shouldn't be a surprise how much I measure. Yeah? I should have an idea how much is there? Yeah. If I have an idea how much is there, I have to select a proper fitting measurement device. All right? With where, you know, the, 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 the end value, yeah? the, the, the expected value of the measurement should be somewhere between 
above half of the of the of the full scale value. So here, starting from five bar, I would only make below two percent errors. Huh? Then I could say, okay, that's measurement, right? That's measurement. Everything below, yeah? and if we're far below, it's even getting worse. Makes it worse. Okay. So this means the measurement device and also the uh, the expected value. Those two things they have to fit together. If I'm using the wrong measurement device, yeah, this cannot even be accurate enough to deliver useful results. That means if I want to measure the room temperature, yeah, which is around 22 degree or something like this, yeah, I'm not going to use a measurement device which the full, where the full scale value is 3000. Yeah, because the, 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 I mean, if I measure 3000, yeah, then you know, 10, 10 degree up or down doesn't really matter. But if in the room is is 20 or 30 degree, it does matter. All right. So then I'm using a measurement device where a full scale value is somewhere around 40, 50. Yeah. Because then we are somewhere here yeah, where the error is already acceptable. Okay. Of course, I could always invest in better measurement systems however you know they're not if this if they're double as good yeah they're usually not double as expensive yeah this is there is there is a geometrical yeah, multiplication it's 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 four yeah so it's it's exponential raise of costs yeah so even and even then if I could bring this line down here a little bit even also here in the in the low area, I would make huge error. I would make huge error, even if the, it, if we do with this billing reason things. Yeah. So accuracy class and expected accuracy class is the the error compared to the full scale value, and the full scale value has to fit. The expected value. This is what you should get from this video. Yeah? Accuracy class. Next time we're going to talk about what happens if we are combining different methods of, of measuring. Yeah? So if I don't know if I have to measure the resistance of a resistor and I measure voltage and current, yeah? then I have two measurements with two two times uh, you know, error. Yeah? There's both measurements do have random error. What is the total error? What to expect there? Yeah? This we will talk about in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.